Well, folks, I have done it. I now have a Dyson fan in my collection. Now, this is a brand name I never thought I'd bring into my collection, but, well, here we are with one. So honestly, this is kind of an achievement for me because I never thought I'd buy myself one of these. You know, I'm all about the traditional bladed fans, you know, all of the, all of these guys, you know? So seeing a fan like this that has no visible blades on the outside, it's kind of an odd sight. And uh, that, that was the main reason that kind of kept me away from it. I do like the technology that they put into it, but just the sheer fact that it's a bladeless fan, it just doesn't seem right to me. So <laughs> I've never really had a whole lot of interest in it, but this particular fan sort of presented itself and it had a very, very good price tag on it. So I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. So I got it and here it is. Now this one is the very first generation of the Dyson Air Multiplier. This one, the model number is called the AM01. AM as in the Air Multiplier and 01 supposedly, I'm just guessing it's the first generation model. And this is the 10 inch blue version. They also had a 12 inch version. They also had a, I think they called it like a graphite or maybe an iron color. It's like a dark gray, so yeah. We're gonna go check it out before I clean it up because it's not in the best condition as of now. So, all right, let's take a look at it. So I'm sure most of you who are watching this video have seen or heard of these Dyson Air Multipliers at some point or maybe you even own one of these. But for me, this is my, really my first hands-on experience with one because even though I've seen a whole bunch of these in stores, I've never really bothered to take a close look at them. But I gotta say, from an engineer's perspective, this is actually a little fan packed with technology, especially in aerodynamics and stuff. Just the way everything works is a lot more complex than just a simple traditional table fan. And also, it seems like a lot of fan collectors generally dislike these Dyson fans and, or at least just have no interest in these, and honestly, I'm not surprised. But for me, I'm going to give this one a chance to see if I like it or not once I get it cleaned up. And I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about it for those who are watching, so feel free to comment down below what you guys think about these Dyson fans. Well, anyways, here's the condition of the fan as it was when I got it. Of course, it's not a brand new fan, it's been used quite extensively because even though it's pretty clean on the outside, the story quickly changes when you look at the intake. Yeah, this is packed full of dust. Now all of these holes should be as open as these ones right here, which are ones that I took a little uh, twist tie and poked through the layer of dust. So I can just do that right now and I'll just do it through a couple of them. Yeah, look at that. This thing is packed full of dust inside. And I'm not excited to see what's what's inside when I open it up. I'm sure the inside here and the fan inside, and this is gonna be just packed with dust. You can see some remnants of the original dust. <laughs> Here's a look at the side of the fan. There's quite a bit of scuffs and scratches on the side. I think these do come off because this is just plastic. And also the tilt mechanism is kind of unique, it just kind of slides forward like that, back like that. The cord on this thing is really thick and the, look how chunky this plug is. It's fused, but this looks like some full-size appliance plug. I guess I'll show you guys the uh, information sticker so I can carefully lie this fan down. Oops, breaking it. There we go. Uh, let's see. Made in Malaysia. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like. Is there a date code on this? Oh, there it is. September of 2013. That's pretty cool. Let's 
stand this back up without dropping it. And now I guess I'll go ahead and start it up. There's not a whole lot to see because it lacks visible blades, but nonetheless, we'll start it up. Uh, oh, that's the wrong dial there. Uh, still getting used to these controls. There it is. It's a variable speed control and there it is on its slowest speed. And as expected, it's moving no air. <laughs> Absolutely no air. There's not even a breeze coming out of this thing. And that is due to the vents being clogged up. And also the motor doesn't sound very healthy. Take a listen to it. Dyson says this is a brushless DC motor. So I'm guessing there's either a whole bunch of hair tangled up in the blades or the motor shaft, or maybe the bearings are going out. These do have ball bearings, so we'll have to see what's going on in there when I open it up. But yeah, that's not a, not a very quiet motor, that's for sure. All right, we'll turn it up. We'll just go to full speed. Yep, still moving, no air. Well, actually there's a tiny breeze coming out of it. Out of here, but it's not even useful. And it sounds very restricted and that's probably due to the dust. And it does oscillate. It's got a little synchronous motor in the base that is responsible for the oscillation. I don't know, I, I kind of, I don't know. It's not as bad as I used to think these were. It's kind of neat in some ways. Of course, you know, my love for traditional fans with blades will live on, but I don't know, these are not actually that bad. Of course, that's not certain until I get this one cleaned up so it moves, actually moves some air. Shut it off. Sounds kind of like a vacuum cleaner winding down there. Well, there it is, guys. The infamous Dyson Bladeless Fan, the AM01 air multiplier. We're gonna get this one cleaned up and I'll come back with, you know, some experimental videos and stuff to test this against like traditional fans and all that. Maybe I'll do a cleaning video on it. Uh, it's kind of a a neat piece to have in my collection now, I guess. So there it is, guys. The Dyson AM01 air multiplier fan. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.